Hello, this is Mark Van de Wettering of the Brainwagon blog. Today's experiment, um, you may remember a couple days ago that I was playing around with LEDs and had these power transistors set up. I sort of disconnected all this circuitry and built this small circuit on the corner of this breadboard. It's just a crystal uh, transistor, just a cheap 2N3904, two caps, two resistors. And what it actually is, is a small cold pits oscillator. I was goofing around with my QRSS beacon the other day um, because it's not really putting out as much power as I thought. And I got kind of frustrated with it and I decided to just simplify and go back to thinking about just oscillators. I realized there was a few things I didn't understand about oscillators. And uh, while digging around and generally goofing off, I found Steve Weber, uh, WNK, uh, I'm gonna screw up his call sign. It'll be in the call notes as well as a link to his page, made a wireless Morse transmitter. And the idea is, uh, in his case, he just used an AT Tiny that would read a thermometer, a digital thermometer made by Dallas Semiconductor, and would then transmit the, uh, the temperature in Morse code by basically powering on an oscillator just like this, just these six components. Um, these are really just bench scrapings. <laughs> if you have any electronic stuff at all, you may not have the crystals lying around, but you can use crystals of almost any frequency. These happen to be 3.68 megahertz crystals. Um, there's almost no antenna on this. It's probably illegal to use it with a large antenna. I'm just using a clip lead, uh, basically, uh, also sending it to my oscilloscope so that I can see the waveform. You can see that as it's keying, uh, it takes a few seconds for the sync pulses of the, uh, of the oscilloscope to go click in, but it's not a great looking sine wave, but it's not terrible. Uh, there's probably some DC offset actually on the signal as well. But um, on top of here, I have this black box is my uh, RF space SDRIQ software defined radio. There's no antenna hooked up here. I just will have this wired to my PC. Um, but over here behind the source code for this app, um, you can see this. And if I turn on the audio, So this is just the source code for a uh, Morse code sending application that just toggles the uh, pins on and off on the Arduino, or on the, yeah, on the Arduino. And that actually serves to power this transmitter. The current draw is only about 1.2, uh, one point, well, it was 1.5 milliwatts at, at three volts. It's probably a little bit stronger because uh, this is a five volt Arduino, but, uh, you know, it's definitely down in the milliwatts and probably effective radiated power of just a few microwatts so that you can operate under part 15. In Steve's setup, he can uh, tune his ham radio transmitter to find out what the temperature is. Um, his big antennas will, will pick this up, you know, from distances of, you know, tens of feet, probably a hundred feet, I would imagine, no problem at all, even with no antenna on the oscillator. So. Anyway, I just thought Steve had a really cool project. I thought I'd bring it to your attention. You might want to experiment with a little wireless radio uh, using just some simple components and your Arduino. This is Mark Van de Wettering, signing off from the Brainwagon blog.